Hey friends, Jacob Fox here. Welcome to another Godot tutorial. This tutorial is a little bit different because it came out of one of your suggestions. And uh, thank you to everybody who comments on all my videos. I'm really relishing all of the love and support from everyone. It means a lot and I'm, I'm glad that my tutorials are helping everyone uh, learn a little bit more about Godot. So I made a tutorial about tool scripting a couple weeks ago. And in this video, I talked about set gets and how useful they are, basically overriding the inherent set and get functions within Godot. They allow you to write custom setters and getters for variables defined out of a function scope so that in a scene scope, you can have variables that can be set or gotten with uh, different kinds of functionality. I got a comment from the Redstone Surgeon, which is on screen here, uh, asking if the assertion that I made in the video is correct. So I did some digging and we're gonna talk about th that today, all about set gets, so buckle up. So in that video, I asserted that if you write set gets for a variable, if you write set gets, then whenever you call them, the set gets will get called. So for instance, let's go ahead and write a set get. So, I went ahead and made an export variable. Now, this does not need to be an export variable. This can just be a var. Uh, if you want it to be, it doesn't have to be exported, but uh, made it for screen color. And since in none of my other tutorials have I ever used color, we're going to use an export color because I think it's cool being able to set your color from the editor. So I made a setter, set color, and a getter, get color. Uh, Often in Godot, you'll see some functions uh, that have an underscore before them, like ready or process. This typically denotes that it is run by the engine itself and that you as a developer won't call this function explicitly. Of course, you don't have to adhere to this, but it helps you when you're reading it to get in that habit. So uh, in the set color, we have, we're passing in a new color and what we're gonna do is we're going to say, screen color equals new color easy as that right and what we're going to do also is we'll print setter called down here in the getter we're just returning screen color and we'll say getter called cool easy enough there's a uh, ready function nothing in there quite yet we're going to use that in a second but now we'll know when the setter is called and when the getter is called so what we're going to do is set the color to screen color to let's set it to 255255255 now based off of the assertion that i made in the tool scripting video this would automatically call set color right let's see uh, and then also i'll print screen color because this should get color. Let's run this and see what's called. Right down here, you'll see we got 255, 255, 255, 1, which is what we're setting it equal to, but setter was not called, getter was not called. So here was my mistake before, and I did some testing to confirm that this works. Now, a good habit to get into is when you know uh, that you're calling a variable from a from within its own scene, you can call self. There's this keyword for self. This just means that it will call this scene's variable screen color. It's technically a little cleaner, technically a little more safe, though leaving it out will still use usually 99% of the time you'll end up with the same outcome. However, we're gonna put self here and we're gonna put self here. Now, let's look what happens. Let's go ahead and run this. We got setter called, getter called, and we have the color uh, being printed. So, if you add the self keyword before your variable, this means that it will call the your set get, both of them, right? Awesome. So, why does it do this? Well, in the Godot engine, typically set gets are used when you're setting a variable outside of a scene's scope. 
That means that if you set screen color either in the editor window, like if you go over here, set it to red, uh, since we don't have tool, it won't do that, but just for fun, let's throw a tool in here and change the color, or maybe it just won't work. You know what? That's fine too. I'll leave that in. It's more fun. That experiment aside, for whatever reason, not working. I don't want to get into it right now. So if you set your screen color from a different scene, from a different script somewhere else in your code, then the set get will respond, will be called instead of just the normal set function uh, or via exporting variables, which uh, we'll also call it if you have the tool keyword up in the top. So anyway, this is how you get around this issue. Thanks again to those who commented, who pointed out that uh, I might not have been correct. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you for being kind about it too. Uh, Redstone Surgeon, shout out to you. Yeah, you were absolutely right and I appreciate it. If I do something wrong, I will usually keep it in my videos and uh, you know, I want, I want to show everyone that accidents happen and uh, you know, even people making tutorials make mistakes. But again, thank you and thank you all for watching. I uh, really appreciate you checking out this tutorial and all of my tutorials. I hope that you have wonderful days, each and every one of you, and I will catch you all in the next tutorial.